What's up? How's it going? Life Talks, Brown and Melissa here again. And we're on a beautiful drive on this fall day. It's the day after what? Two days after Thanksgiving? And yep. um, you know what conversation came up? Mm. Christmas lists. Hey, what? <laughs> I guess that tells me what you think about Christmas lists. Okay, I struggle with Christmas lists now that I'm not a kid, right? Kids love Christmas lists. I think it's great for kids. I struggle with Christmas lists primarily because um, although there are a lot of things that I want, I don't necessarily think about, so the logistics of thinking about stuff that I want, putting it on a list, sending it out, like that's just not my style because mm. that takes planning and things like that. Okay. But also, there are two things that I, I question. Give it to me. What do you got? I don't know. Okay. When you give a gift, the gift should be a reflection of your love for someone else, right? And so when you have a list, I, it kind of takes away some of that intentional desire to show someone how you love them and how you're thinking of them. Um, and so, for example, my parents, they get us gifts. And sometimes we like them, sometimes we don't. Ah! But what I love about it is it shows that my parents were thinking about me and they were thinking like well I know she likes these things and it just is a sign of how they know us and they're like well why would they get you something you don't like if, you know, uh. if they know you that well right and it's like well maybe because I didn't express to them every single thought that I had on this thing but they knew that this thing was something a climbing thing right maybe they wanted to get me like a climbing rope which they wouldn't but like they know that I like climbing so they got me something in the climbing world you know it might not be the exact thing that I wanted but it, no, it shows that they love they, they're they're interested in what I love and they want to support that uh -huh. and I think that's really beautiful and I think when you have a list it comes so much about the thing about Christmas is about the things that I get instead of allowing people to express their love for one another and that's what I really just struggle with I would rather have something that like is a gift from them that shows their love for me than just an item that I could have gotten on a Tuesday in January uh -huh. or July okay do you want me to comment on that I already know what you're going to say but please do for everyone Okay, so I agree to all that, and I think when we uh, separate the gift, like basically making that like a task, a to-do list, and sometimes it is, and Christmas is busy, people are working, you're raising kids, you got like 15 gifts you gotta buy for different people, like, okay, it does become a bit of a list sometimes, like, I just gotta get this done, give me a list so I don't have to, you know. Um, but I agree, it should be about the gift, the love, like the whole part of the gift, we miss that sometimes when you just have that list. Now here's me, super like, don't wanna overbuy, did a, did a minimalist app, check out our channel. But basically, like, I would never want to buy someone something they don't need. I've gotten gifts in the past, and, like, I love them for thinking of me, right? But if they don't really know, and I'm the same one, you know, if I'm giving the gift, and I don't really know what they like, I don't want to give them something they don't want. Like, that's not loving them either, okay? So sometimes you're like, hey, I don't know what my sister-in-law's brother, if I happen to give their, have to give their kid, a, I don't even have this person, right? But if I have to give someone a gift that I don't really know, I'm like please give me a list. I don't really know. I want to give you something you like. I could go buy crayons and this kid's like, I have crayons. Well, why didn't you do a little research, Brian, and figure out what they want, right? Well, so this is where I get, I'm like, I don't want to give them a wasted gift, nor do I want people to go waste money in the economy on me. Like, so I'm going to say, hey, this is what I'm looking for. Now, someone like you probably really knows what I want, but not everyone has that close relationship. So I agree. You got to have that like love gift mentality, but at the same time, you don't want to just right. be buying but to buy. But who is doing the list? Close family members. It's not Joe Blow over there that's trying to buy, right? So it's like if you are a close family member and you don't really know what they want, you haven't had a conversation to say like, oh, I think this person would like this. Then why are we buying them a gift in the first place? You know, like if you it's, it's someone that you don't really know, <laughs> then a bottle of wine, you know, or a gift card to. You know, you can ask someone, oh, what's your favorite restaurant? I mean, that takes hardly any brain These power. are safer gifts, yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like, my, something my brother, you know, if we'd ask him what he wants, if you don't know, then don't give me anything. You're right. and it's like, yeah, if you don't know me well enough to know what I want, or you can't, like, ask mom or someone who's been, you can't, like, take 15 minutes to, to talk to them in a conversation to know, like, what they're interested in. Yeah. Then it's not worth, it's not even, like, you don't even really care about them. You just care about showing that you bought a gift. Yeah. One side note, coordination. Now, sometimes there's a whole family who wants to buy something. They might all buy the same thing. In that case, a list or at least yes. communication is like, hey, I bought it. Don't go all buy on the same That's thing. That's true. So yes. that could be good. Hey, I got number four on the list or whatever. And here's another thing. It, lists are probably more helpful for like larger families. Or like when we, our family was getting a little bit bigger, like cousins and everything, we just did like we each drew a person from a hat. You know, we just only got like 
our family got one cousin something because we drew him from the hat and then we just took care of our own family. Yeah. That was easier. So, anyways, my thoughts. Yep, yeah, to bring it back to Christian perspective, I think, you know, gift giving is a beautiful thing. Jesus gives us the gift and salvation, it's right? It's a square car that I want. Oh, okay. It's a Mini Cooper? No, it's a nasty old. Never mind, guys. Never it's mind. It's not a gift. Okay, just kidding. She likes old cars like Volvos and stuff. Uh, Volvos are cool, but the it's certain so ones she's cute. picking out, I'm like, oh, you like being yeah. a nerd. Okay, anyways, um, from Jesus' mindset, yeah, it's all about the love first, right? Love, then the gift will come from that. Yes. Hey, let us know how Christmas is going. Peace out to all your mamas. Yeah.